Hello, this is Mohammed Shakil here, and you're watching a radial engine being designed in the Gen Radio Shape Design and partly with the Part Design Workbench. And it was finally assembled in the Assembly Design Workbench. As you can see here, these are the files or the part files which was used to uh, do the complete assembly of this radial engine. So as you know, this uh, radial engine was uh, previously used in the aircrafts. So um, it's like the radial engine is a reciprocating uh, IC engine, the internal combustion engine with the cylinders which are pointing outwards from the crankshaft. So uh, basically you have uh, the different parts uh, which I'm going to introduce to you. So uh, you can see that uh, the different articulated roads, these are called as the articulated roads and this is the master road here. So uh, it was uh, done with the bottom up assembly and uh, as you can see here the different angles which was given was uh, 70 degrees each and uh, over here I have given 75 75 this is 75 75 and this is all 70 so uh, that's all about the angles which was given which which would be used while you're doing the assembly over here the angle constraint so let me just uh, talk a little bit about the different parts which was used in the uh, uh, making of our radial engine so the different parts are uh, one is the master root which is the most important part of this radial engine so as you can see here this is a master root and uh, the gen radio shape design was used a little bit for this design and you can see the different holes over here are uh, you know are used to link between the uh, articulated road and the master road and you have another uh, you know, hole over here which is being used to uh, connect with the piston and uh, you can see this small uh, uh, component over here is called as a piston pin plug and you have the piston pin over here which holds the uh, articulated road and the uh, piston so over here we have again uh, some small parts over here which is called as a link pin which uh, holds the articulated road and the uh, master road together so basically the working of uh, um, radial engine can be explained from the top view so uh, as you see it from the top view, you can feel you can you know it seems it seems like a star so that's the reason in some languages they call as a star engine so it, it be, it's because of its uh, look of a star when it's viewed from the top view so basically what happens in a radial engine is uh, you will have another uh, particular uh, you know, center over here with respect to which this particular two components will be connected with with uh, one particular component here and that its center will be fixed so what happens here is uh, this particular drive here uh, assemble that there is the drive is with respect to this particular point over here and what happens is this link moves and uh, the same time we have this uh, you know drives of uh, five pistons in this five axes so what happens is uh, this moves in this direction when the drive comes from here and it moves in this direction whereas over here this piston compresses uh, the compression stroke happens here and the expansion stroke happens here so in that way uh, the drive is given from five of the pistons from five sides and it gives uh, enormous energy so that's the reason it was used for uh, aircraft engines so uh, till the time that uh, you know uh, there was advancement when the turbo engines have come so that's all about uh, the working of our uh, radial engine and soon I'm going to come up with uh, more tutorials which is based on this uh, and uh, I'll try to make a simulation on this uh, which can better explain you so I hope you enjoyed thank you so much for watching and it's this tutorial is gonna help a lot of people who wants to uh, make a design of this or who, who haven't seen the 3d view of it so I'm going to rotate it and I'm going to show you the 
radial engine from the different views and how it looks like so it's not a diff it's not a difficult design to uh, do and uh, you can do it for uh, you know for small projects and all so i hope you enjoyed thank you so much for watching and uh, subscribe me like my videos any comments any doubts you have just uh, uh, comment just below my video and i'll be getting back to you as soon as possible thank you